This is a video about the MP rotator family of rotator nozzles from Hunter Industries. And we're going to do a short video here on how to adjust. And then I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to replace the nozzle. First thing you need to do with these rotator nozzles and know what you're working with, they're all color coded and there's a chart on the manufacturer's website that shows you what color, give you the, the radius and the arc configuration. What we're looking at here is an MP3000 90 by 210. It's got a radius of 22 feet to 30 feet and it has an arc a minimum of 90 degrees and maximum of 210 degrees. Okay, let's adjust this nozzle. On the nozzle itself, there's a little mark here. It's kind of hard to see in the daylight, but it has a little notch on it that shows you the left limit. These are all left justified, meaning that the left hand limit is set. And if we want to change the left limit, we're going to use the ratchet action on the spray body stem here to change this. And if we want to change the right limit, this is what we can change here by the, the silver ring. So if we can turn this with our fingers, we can open it up or close it back. But there's also a MP rotator tool here that we can use that you can slip down over there and use that to turn that ring back and forth if your fingers are wet and slippery or something like that. So if we want to change the radius, Pretty much always these nozzles are shipped at full radius, and this one has a radius of 30 feet. And there's a little screw right here on the top, and actually the, the notch in it is too small for a regular tool. If you're using a Rainbird or a Toro tool like this, the blade is actually too big for it. You need a smaller blade. But on this MP rotator tool, there's a little notch right here on the front, and that's what we set down right there and it fits right in there and that's how we can adjust this down and bring our radius down on the nozzle. Okay, I wanna give you a quick tip about replacing these nozzles. If you've got one that's old and it's clogged up and needs to be replaced, there's just a simple little procedure here that I wanna show you. Let's get a head running again. And I suggest you go and get a Rainbird spray head tool. These are available at pretty much every hardware store in existence. They're not expensive at all. And if you have spray heads on your yard, just go ahead and get you one of these. What we want to do is while it's running, we want to put this on here. Now you've got to remember that generally what we're dealing with are heads that are buried in the ground here. I just have it on this riser for demonstration purposes. But remember, these things are going to be at ground level. So when it shuts off, if you take this nozzle off, it'll suck a bunch of dirt and contaminants back down in here. So if we're going to replace the nozzle, we want it to be as clean as possible. Okay, so we're going to shut the zone off. Come and remove all of the nozzles that we want to replace, or this one in particular. We want to turn the zone back on just for a couple of seconds to blow out whatever contaminants might be down in there. And when we're satisfied that it's clean, we want to come and put us a brand new nozzle on. Never neglect using the filter. I mean, they're attached here, but don't take it off. Always use the filter. And so let's put this on here. And we'll turn the zone back on.